Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good today. On our prayer request, Homestead Tassie's grandmother, granddaughter, Sierra, is in intensive care with pneumonia. Tweets, pray for her asthma and she's always tired. David's mother is struggling with walking. Pray that she gets better. Um, Diane and her daughter's friend Victor uh, is no better. He's on meds to relax him, to help him breathe. He needs a double lung transplant. And uh, Diane had her dentist appointment yesterday and everything went well on that. She has to go back and have some more teeth pulled, though. Uh, Kathy Mulligan's friend Judy is having invasive back surgery. And Nina is slowly getting better. And Sawyer in the middle, they have two foster children they've had for a year, and they would love to adopt them. Pray that they will be able to. Hi, kitty. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Dale. Good morning. Okay, our Bible reading today comes from James 3, 7 through 12. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. Okay. Okay, our, our devotion today is entitled This Is Me. The power, powerful song This Is Me is an unforgettable show tune featured in The Greatest Showman, the smash movie musically loosely based on the life of P.T. Bar Barnum and his traveling circus. The lyrics sung by characters in the film who'd suffered verbal taunts and abuse for failing to conform to societal norms describe words as destructive bullets and knives that leave scars. The song's popularity points to how many people bear the invisible but real wounds caused by weaponized words. James understood the potential danger of our words to cause destructive and long-lasting harm, calling the tongue a restless evil full of deadly poison. By using this surprisingly strong comparison, James emphasized the urgent need for believers to recognize the immense power of their words. Even more, he highlighted the inconsistency of praising God with one breath, breath and then injuring people who are made in God's image with the next. The song, This Is Me, similarly challenges the truth of verbal attacks by insisting that we're all glorious a truth the Bible affirms. The Bible establishes the unique dignity and beauty of each human being, not because of outward appearance or anything we have done, but because we are each beautifully designed by God, His unique masterpieces. And our words to each other and about each other have the power to reinforce that reassuring reality. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray for everybody on the list today. and Please help them with all their different problems. And help anybody else out there that needs it, Lord. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I go to the doctor this morning at uh, 9.30 is my appointment. So uh, I'm feeling a little bit better today, though. So I don't know if he'll have to prescribe uh, anything for my stomach or not. Uh, usually they'll prescribe uh, like uh, steroids or, you know, prednisone. <laughs> so, uh Pray for me that everything goes goes well, and um, I'm sure he'll be checking to see how my uh, 
surgery is is doing if it's healing up nicely and everything it's healing up it's healed up on the outside i don't know if he'll uh, i know that when i move or like when i do a bunch like out in the garden or something or other i can feel that mesh thing they put in there uh, like the edge of it's digging into me and it hurts pretty bad so i don't know uh, i don't think anything's wrong with it. i'm just i guess not used to it but uh yeah, I'm going to go, and then I'll let y'all know how things went later on. So everybody have a great morning, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.